So today on Project Shop, we are back on these giant spools of wire. Now in the last video, we upgraded the wire stripper. We added this roller and I built this contraption out of a bunch of workout equipment. Now, this is what I think I'm gonna do here. I got the trailer set up. I got it all stacked up with the aluminum and I got my two pick straps crossed in there. I'm gonna just use this aluminum as the barriers and uh, make a donut right there and cinch that up and we can send it right to Miami like that. So this is what I'm gonna try to do. Since this thing is pretty much gonna be self-sufficient, meaning this is gonna run the spool, hopefully with no issues or snags, I'm gonna grab the end as it comes out the machine and start walking it back to the trailer. And what I'm gonna try to do is leave the end here and kind of roll it so it's actually bringing two lengths down to the trailer and i'm just going to keep running it like that and then i'm going to come back with either the jaw or i might just use the cable cutters and manually do it and then cut like every 10 foot i'll just sit there and make a make a bunch of cuts across bunch of cuts across and then just throw them pieces right on there and i think that's going to be the fastest way for me to do this so we ain't going to waste no time we're going to get right on them spools because it's already almost nine o'clock and we want to get down to miami today it's Friday, so we don't want to be sitting on this copper over the weekend. And then I have a ton of scrap. Maybe we'll do another weekend scrap out because I have to clean the table off. There's still tons of copper on there. Oh, and get this. Check this out. I got that brass light. All this aluminum stock. This is all aluminum and brass. This is all aluminum. That's all brass, brass, brass. So we got to go through that over the weekend. We will be keeping some of that aluminum, but we're gonna cut that brass down and cut the aluminum down so we can ship it to Miami. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're just gonna start sending it.
right this time. There we go.
Well, there you have it. Copper King absolutely shredded through that wire like it was nothing. Now what I'm gonna do is probably cut all the ends down there. And then I'll probably just cut it in half right here. And then that'll make it real easy to load that up. But what I'm gonna do right now is I still have some more of that 400 in here. I'm gonna strip all that 400 real quick. Then I'm gonna dial it down to this size here. Then we'll run these spools here. Apparently this, this stuff here has like a special insulation. It's like a special wire or something. So I don't know, we'll see if the Copper King can shred that wire. That didn't take long at all. I'm pretty sure just those spools was about 900 pounds of copper. So I'm gonna grab a drink and we gonna get right on this pile right here.
Okay, so we're running into a little issue with the uh, stripper. This belt is uh, pretty much toast. It's actually been needing to be replaced for a while now. I've been um, kind of putting it off, but that last one was struggling to get through there. So hopefully we can at least get one more spool out of it. That belt smoking. The wind's blowing away, but man, that thing is, uh, yeah, I can smell it. All right, well, at least we got it all stripped. Now, I'm gonna just put the time lapse on. I'm gonna go make some cuts, make some cuts, and we're gonna load this right on the trailer. Okay, we got all that cleaned up. Got an absolute mess of insulation, but we'll take care of that tomorrow. We still have a ton of scrap to go through, but we got the uh, trailer out there loaded, ready to go. I'm gonna just clean this stuff up real quick and we're gonna get right on the road. Okay, so we made it. We got all of our sheet in there. We got our cast. He got a... Hey, you run this to tear weight? You got a tear weight on the box. You got a strap. There's so much weight back here, the trailer's teetering right now. And I went to throw that bucket in the back of the truck and it bounced out and flipped over and landed right there. Hey, Pedro. Let's see if we can't get this to cinch down. Now the way I wrap this, this should Tighten up. Come on in. Oh, up, up, up. Come in. In, 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 in. Come on, come on. No, no, in. Come on in. Come on in. Mas, mas, mas. Okay. Let me get out of the way. Oh, yeah. See how I did them straps? They, they squeezing around there. Oh man, we got every piece except for one. It's like a copper flying saucer. <laughs> uh, let me help you out here. Oh, I hope that thing stays together. tipsy that's a heavy donut hold on hang on there you go
donut's too big for the box. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 there it is. Come down. Come down. Hold on. Okay. So, I gotta make tighter donuts. I don't think they're gonna like the fact that this thing's sitting sideways in this box. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. From spool to scrapyard. In no time flat. <laughs> so this is a ticket for that job. Before we get on that, I just want to say, if you didn't watch the last two minutes of the last video, you missed out on some bonus footage. And if you don't watch the last two minutes of this video, you're going to miss out on some bonus footage. We had 1,241 pounds of bright and shiny copper at 343 a pound, $4,256.63. We had 133 pounds of cast aluminum, 57 cents a pound. That actually came up a little bit. 75.81. Old sheet, 357, 357 pounds at 60 cents a pound. That went up for $214.20 for a total of $4,546.64. Now I'm pretty sure I paid like 33,000 or 3,200 on that copper wire. So I made like a grand just off of that in that little bit of time it took me to strip it. <laughs> I probably had like, let's just say maybe two hours. It was kind of local getting that copper. And then I did spend time modifying the machine and whatever, but that's not really, that had nothing to do with the, uh, you know, how much I made on that job. The unspooler worked out great. I got it taken down right now, but um, I, I already have a new belt. I actually got a thicker belt. Um, the only problem with the thicker belt is it's got more traction. So when I disengage it, it was sticking, but since it, it wore in a little bit, it's getting better. If there's something in there, it'll stop. It just doesn't stop. It has a little bit more bite, but I have something that's going to stop the machine dead stop no matter what when I put it up like this. And I want to go double belt over this side. I want to get double pulleys. Um, that way when I, re I can leave the belt loose and um, it's not so much on one belt. You know, I, I won't have to pull as hard on that spring because uh, I'll have twice the amount of traction. But we definitely want to have uh, some type of braking system on here which is going to be pretty cool the way I want to do it. So if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Since I've shot this, I've scrapped out a ton of stuff here in the shop. And I have a awesome shop edition. I'm kind of uh, hiding it behind a thing there. I don't want you to see exactly what it is, but I made it completely out of scrap. And it's going to help out here in the shop, and it's pretty awesome. So stay tuned for that video. Tell you where we're going right to the scrap yard.
<laughs> so we got all that copper there, all that down there, and then all this over here. Now as big as that thing is, I would thought that would have been much bigger. I'm actually surprised it's smaller. And this thing was three-phase, so you would expect that it would have more copper, but I guess not. 